hello guys and welcome to Teske Kalo. thank you so much for always supporting the channel i very much appreciate the support so as you know today uh, we have super sport united versus e orlando pirates not going to be an easy match i did make the video about when last did pirates beat super sport united away from home which which should tell you who would he, hey, it's difficult for Pirates to beat Super Sport United away from home if they last did it at the end of November. Uh, you know, at the end of 2024, rather. Uh, <laughs> sorry, at the end of 2014, rather, in November. You know, back then, 2014, close to now a decade, you know, since Pirates last beat Super Sport United away from home. It does show uh, Super Sport is very difficult to play against. And today, I'm just going to go through the potential lineup that Orlando Pirates uh, might go with. And Epalini, I think they will keep it simple. I think it's going to be Melu Subitelezi. He has been amazing. Very unfortunate in the last game to concede. Unfortunately, it was a penalty. And, you know, uh, it's rare for a goalkeeper to save the penalties, especially in open play. So he did not keep it clean sheet in the last game. And I'm sure that he wants to keep it today. Pirates will definitely, I think they will go with Pet uh, with U Fortune Makaringe. I think he's been amazing down that left hand flank, you know, playing as a wing, uh, right hand flank rather, playing as a wing back, you know, helping Orlando Pirates both offensively and defensively. I think Makaringe has played well in that position like i said it's not really his natural position but with modern football you must know almost all the positions just like uh dion hotto i think he will play on that left hand side he overlaps i the, the way to, if you know me i use for hotto is workaholic he's just that player he works very hard for the team he scores the goals he gets the assist at times he helps us offensively he defends he's just everywhere and he's just that player that we need on the game you know so Orlando Pirates is definitely going to be using him and they're also going to use Olisa Nda I think you know with Utapelo Koki I think Koki will play in today's game I removed CBC uh, in my prediction not that there's anything wrong with him or that I blame him for the penalty but I feel like in today's game um, Pirates will have to deal mostly with a super sport united set pieces i think height will be important i think players that are good on the or air will be important because they are that team that is looking to use the crosses it's rare for super sport to just play from the back and score a goal they will mostly want to play behind your defense get that cross and then expose you you know players like uh, abu ikotaro with the body they'll have to have players like toki and da to be able to match them because ikotaro has the body he has the height also you know you have a player like oh chukumanja i can't talk much about chukumanja i think we all know how deadly he can be on the air so super sport will want to use that you know so diagonals very very important for pirates to deal with every ball uh, what i would advise for toki and that to do is to make sure if they're keeping a high line which they're doing uh, they're communicating about it and also or offside trap and also they must also be able to deal with all the balls that come from the air. Do not let the ball to bounce. Deal with it. You know, in this thing, I've seen the communication between the keeper and the players at times. Looks like it. Uh, and the defense. Uh, last game I saw, to tell us, Upumara Kunu. And sometimes, also, to tell you, Nah, up till Ali, as you look to will deal with it. Can't the miscommunication and we lose the ball and they score. So I hope that they'll be able to deal with that to be safe. Just deal with all the balls that come, you know. And you, I think Miguel team will be playing in the middle of the pack. He has been amazing, you know, to be honest with you. And I don't have any doubts. I think we will need that kind of a player that can be able to protect our defense. Dabai Tetwa and Londo. Once again, I will say it. One of the most important players as a Pirates, in my opinion, in our squad, because of what he adds to the team. He adds that element to attack. He adds that element to defend. I always talk about Nlondlo. I always tell you that I will be monitoring him because he's a very important player for the team. And the last game in the first half, I was not happy. I did talk about it. And in the second half, look at what he did. He improved and we ended up creating more chances he could have even scored he missed an open net to be honest he needs to be more offensive 
uh, sometimes it's too deep sometimes he lose the ball unnecessarily you know so he needs to let him to play his role and sometimes know that you must go forward but come and help us defensively very important for Nlonlo because if Nlonlo is having a good game I'm telling you Pirates will definitely be playing one of their best games you know so Nlonlo must function for the team to play and also Chukwe Kim Vidu Karim Kimviru, he had a very, very good game, man of the match uh, performance. I think he will be playing more of a number 10 role. Sometimes he'll drift wide uh, into the right hand side, you know, maybe exchange it with Lodge. I think Lodge is going to play, to be honest. I think Lodge will be playing on the right hand side, or Vincent Pule. One of the two will play in this side. And then on the left, I think it's going to be U. Uh, I foresee Mufukeng playing this position on the left. Uh, if it's not him, then the coach will go back with U Karim uh, Ulo. Sorry, U Katlejo Otladisa. So one of the two. But I think uh, the boy rested and he should be able to play this game. We will need more of ball players. Uh, Super Sports United know how to defend. Uh, we need players that are comfortable on the ball and players that can think and play and make the team to function. And I think if you have Kim Vidu, you have Lonjo, you have um, Fouquet, you have Lodge, and you also have a player like o Evidence Mahopa. You can play. I always talk about Mahopa, which sometimes is not even in the right position, but most of the time he gets the goals because he knows how to position himself at times, not all the time. He will get there and it's a tap in, and people will like he scores with tap in. There's no such a thing. If you score with the tap in, it means you're in the right position to get the goal. Uh, what I love about him is that if he's not in the right position at times, he comes and helps the team. He's that player that can and a flat tell goalkeeper, a receive baller, uh as I say among my midfielders, you know, which will enable the team to play. Just like the goal that we scored, you saw he was he didn't score. It's not his job to only score. He can assist. He can create goals for others. And look at what he did in that goal against the Golden Arrows. You know, amazing. And Ndlondlo, obviously. And we ended up scoring. I mean, Mashangani. Uh, he missed that first. It was a deflection. Then, by that delay, looking video with so much composition. Composed, you know. So, this is how I think Pirates will line up, to be honest with you. I don't know. Uh, I don't see a lot of changes, to be honest. I think uh, there can be two changes uh, left and right to, with me it can be Otladisa and uh, Pule it can be Lodge and Otladisa it can move it can be Mufuking and U Ulo Otladi those players I think and Pule you know Pule Otladisa Mufuking and Lodge two of them I think they're gonna play uh, on the sides and then you'll have uh, U Mahopa playing as a striker and obviously you have uh, a player like U on the bench i would love to also see kapinga if he's available ish yeah man uh, that's just about it guys and i'd love to hear from you what is your lineup prediction what do you think about this lineup and i do foresee pirates winning this game uh, it's not going to be easy it's one of those games that you will win by a narrow one nil two one win two nil you know because obviously if you get the first goal then you have control over the game and you force them out then you're able to hit them with a lot of counter attacks uh, look at how a team like Bulugwani City was able to expose Super Sport United to open up and concede like four goals you score first and you know you force that team to chase you when they chase you, they open up the spaces. Then you have smart players like Abu Kim Vidu and Abu who can take the chance. 